Yeah, let's take a look at uh, problem number 11. It's a variation problem. I'm going to show you the steps for variation before we begin. If I find a word in the world word is. Uh -huh, uh -huh, there it is. Okay. Now, this isn't asking us to do the entire problem. But um, I'm going to give you the steps anyway. Step one. Determine the type. We'll have direct variation, which is typically the form y is equal to kx. We have inverse, uh, which is y is equal to k over x, k divided by x. We have a joint variation, which is y is equal to kxz. And we have a combo, which is a mix of the above. Now there is no kind of set way that the combo is going to look. You just as you read it, you got to write it down. Um, now that does not mean that uh, it's going to stick strictly to these forms I listed up above. For a joint, you could have three variables that affect it. Uh, for the inverse, you could have um, uh, x squared. Um, so realize that it's you know it's not set in stone. Uh, step two: pick variables that make sense. Step three, look for the one example, solve for k, and plug k into your formula. And step four, find what they really want. I think uh, this problem uh, has used the first three, uh, but not the last one. But let's work it and see. Step one, determine your type. Um, total cost of gasoline varies directly with number of gallons purchased. So it looks like it's a direct variation. It'll pretty well have one of those words in there, so it's not hard to tell. And um, it'll be of this form, y is equal to kx. Um, now they tell us down below what letters to use, but where the varies is, is your equals. So it says total cost of gasoline varies directly with the number of gallons purchased. The varies is your equals. Total cost of gasoline. Down below they tell us to use C. So C is equal to K times number of gallons purchased. And they tell us that's going to be N down below. Well, third step. Look for your one example. Uh, it says Harry pays um, 1280 So that'll be our cost of the gasoline. The C. So 1280 Four eight gallons of gasoline, and that's our N number of gallons. So, what did I say? Eight. Okay. Now we want to solve for K, so we'll divide both sides by eight. And K will be um, something. One point six. I plugged it in my calculator, right? And then remember our steps said to. Um, to plug uh, plug K into your formula. The formula I'm talking about is one you came up with right here. So this would be C is equal to 1.6 N. We now know what K is. And actually in this problem they say uh, write a direct variation equation that shows the relationship. So they're wanting us to stop right there. This would be our answer. Now let's see what the um, they have here. That's interesting. They leave it as 12.8 divided by 8. Uh, hmm. Don't know why they would do that, but um, <laughs> because this is not an approximation. 12.8 divided by 8, this is an exact value. So, But uh, either one would be, well, actually, my, mine is correct. Theirs is wrong. They didn't simplify it. 